Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today, we're on Genesis chapter 30, starting with verse 25. And Jacob here is going to be prospered by the Lord, even the miss, in the midst of deception from his uncle Laban. As soon as Rachel had borne Joseph, Jacob, sa Jacob said to Laban, Send me away, that I may go to my own home and country. Now, we must remember that Jacob was working for Laban for the marriage of his two daughters, seven years for Leah and seven years for Rachel. And we, you, you can read more about that in Genesis chapter 29 if you, and verses 18 through 20 and 27. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served you, that I may go, for you know the service that I have given you, that is, those fourteen years. But Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your sight, I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Now, God will outlaw divination, that is, trying to seek uh, after supernatural things by pagan rituals. Uh, the Lord will outlaw that for mankind. Name your wages, and I will give it. Jacob said to him, You yourself know how I served you, and how your livestock has fared with me. For you had little before I came, and it has increased abundantly, and the Lord has blessed you wherever I turn. But now, when, I, when shall I provide for my own household also? He said, What shall I give you? Jacob said, You shall not give me anything. If you will do this for me, I will again pasture your flock and keep it. Let me pass through all your flock today, removing from it every speckled and spotted sheep and every black lamb, and the spotted and the spe and speckled among the goats, and they shall be my wages. So my honesty will answer for me later, when you come to look into my wages with you. Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats and black among the lambs, if found with me, shall be counted as stolen. Laban said, Good, let it be as you have said. But that day Laban removed the male goats that were striped and spotted, and all the female goats that were speckled and spotted, every one that was, had white on it, and every lamb that was black, and put them in the charge of his sons. And he set a distance of three days' journey between himself and Jacob, and Jacob pastured the rest of Laban's flock. So the payment for his time with Laban's family as he journeys back home is the speckled and spotted and goats and black lambs. So the, the, the ones not treasured by the people, um, he would retake those for his, uh, his possession. Laban deceives him by taking the breeding males and breeding females that were sp speckled or spotted and taking them away from the flock that Joseph was, used, was uh, handling. We'll see how uh, God prospers Jacob even in the midst of this deception. Then Jacob took fresh sticks of poplar and almond and plane trees and peeled white streaks in them, exposing the white of the sticks. He set the sticks that had, had peeled in front in the, of the flocks in the trough, that is, the watering places, where the flocks came to drink. And since they bred when they came to drink, the flocks bred in front of the striped sticks. And so the flocks brought forth striped, speckled, and spotted. And Jacob separated the lambs and set the faces of the flock toward the striped, and all the black in the flock of Laban. So here, maybe during the t this time, they thought that what the uh, goats and lambs saw is what they would, uh, their children would breed into. Um, but the Lord, even though this isn't the case, uh, the Lord provides uh, opportunity for uh, Jacob's flocks to give uh, forth uh, speckled and spotted goats and black lambs. He put his own droves apart and did not put them with Laban's flock. Whenever the stronger the flock were breeding, Jacob would lay the sticks in the troughs before the eyes of the flock, that they might breed among the sticks. But for the feebler of the flock, he would not lay them there, so the feebler would be Laban's and the stronger Jacob's. Thus the man increased greatly and had large flocks, female servants and male servants, and camels and donkeys. We see here that even though Laban tries to take away from the wealth that uh, Jacob has given him, God prospers 
uh, Jacob by making sure that even though all the sheep that he had and all the goats that he had were uh, not speckled or spotted and were white, uh, that they would provide for him uh, in according to his uh, wages, speckled and spotted, goats and black lambs. So this reminds us that even in the world where there is deception, God looks after us and provides for us as we need. We'll pick up next time with uh, Genesis chapter 31 and we'll And if you would like, please subscribe to the channel and share this with others.